real quick when you go into livestock that no day is the same. Good morning, sunshine. My name is Sarah Heimeyer. I go to Brazosport Christian School. I'm in 10th grade. And my steer's name is Scooby. I'm here every day, morning and evening. I got involved when I started showing longhorns. Uh, I decided that I wanted to do something that's a little more involved with the youth side of things and really just get more involved in livestock. Scooby, he is a Simbra Red Angus steer and he is a super goofy, fun, just awesome calf to work with. I've had a lot of fun with him this year. He has been one of my favorite steers to work with. He's a close second um, to my Longhorn steer. We get along well, taking selfies, you know, the whole sorts of thing like that. So that's been a lot of fun. And then uh, just being able to work with him, you know, the more you work with them, the stronger the bond is gonna get. They're gonna open up to you and you're gonna open up to them. There's been times I've laid in the stall with him, snuggled up, so you know, you get close to them because you're there every day with them. So when I got him, actually, um, there was something about the calf that I just really liked. Uh, there was, you know, he had extension, his mom and dad were pretty, and then, you know, you just have a gut feeling sometimes that something's gonna work out. So that's what kind of happened with this steer. And, you know, I've seen the potential in him and we're really getting there. He has the body condition that he needs. Uh, we're still working on the hind end a little bit. You know, we gotta get some muscling in there. But other than that, I'm hoping uh, we place really good this year. With COVID and everything, some shows were canceled. So we had to work through that, but we've been able to go to the scramble show. We did it place uh, how we liked, but we had a lot of fun and we learned a lot. For the most part, I wake up at around six o'clock, get to the barn at 6.15, and then I take Scooby out, uh, tie him up, and then I clean his stall. And then we go out to the arena, we work a little bit, you know, we work on setting up, so we're ready for the show ring. And then we go back, I feed him, I unhalter him, and I go to school. Around 4.30 each day, I get back out here. It's a little more tedious in the evening, but we go ahead and we, you know, set up and everything. And then we wash him, dry him, do some more setting up and walking. And then he gets fed and I go see my longhorns. I currently have two longhorns. I have a steer and a heifer. <laughs> one is three years old and one just turned one <laughs> in January. So it's been a lot of fun and we've had a great experience with them. I've been showing them for three years. Uh, so it's been a great, great, great time. <laughs> Some people it's not the thing for them, but if you, and like I am, uh, if you're willing to put in the hard work and get des dedicated to it, there's so much you can learn. And I don't think I've bitten off more than I can chew. So it's been a lot of fun. I have two study halls, thank goodness. So I'm able to get most of my homework finished there where I can focus on the cattle uh, a lot more during the evenings. I'm very excited to show at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo and get back in the arena. Um, very excited for the judge and uh, that we actually are getting to show this year. So it's going to be a great experience. Getting to just work with the heifers and the steers and the females that we got to work with was a lot of fun. And um, it was a crazy experience at first because everything's happening so rapidly. But once you get the hang of it, it's a lot of fun. Every judge is different and it's their own opinion on what they're looking for. But one of the things that I've learned from livestock judging and just overall um, in market steers, they're looking for overall body condition, which is their fatness or their finish. Um, they're looking for muscling throughout um, in the hind quarter and nice clean neck and extension of the neck as well. So just, you know, a nice clean animal that's put together well. You know, working with the animal and knowing what the judge is looking for is something that really helps you out. 
So, you know, if they're lacking in their hind quarter a little bit, there's not as much muscling as you want, maybe there's a supplement that can help or something that I can do to help the animal out. And so, you know, just knowing your animal. I've been uh, to the rodeo two other times with my longhorns, but this will be my first time with a market animal. So it's gonna be different and, you know, they have protocols set up this year. Uh, we have to wear masks in the arena. Um, we can only have two wristbands, for one for the exhibitor and one for a parent or guardian. Keeping everybody safe, wash stations, um, separating um, when we get in, all sorts of stuff like that. So safety and health is a big concern for us. We know that it takes hard work, but I think just the hard work that you have to do and what you get out of it is something that I really love. Um, getting that grand champion's lap is the best feeling that you'll ever have in your life. Um, and to know that you worked with that animal and that you picked that animal out and you made that animal succeed is something that's been a lot of fun for me to, you know, just get to do. And, you know, that's why I love it, you know, it's a lot of fun.